Uh, welcome to part two of this lesson on the Smith's Headmaster Ritual. Uh, in part one we covered uh, a playthrough and the introductory chords and riffs. Uh, in part two here we're going to cover uh, the verse chords and the bridge with the arpeggio. So let's get started. Okay, so uh, the verse, uh, remember that because you have this to, tune to open E, every time you bar something like this, that's a major chord, right? So E, F, G, F sharp, G, etc. Um, and the verse, uh, you're going to start here at the fifth fret, so that's an A chord, and you're playing. go up two frets to a B chord and then the open strings for an E chord then you have a slightly different chord and uh, this is actually one that people play different ways to get different sounds some people play it like this that voicing is a little too low I think so uh, I tend to play it up here so all I'm doing there is um, I'm using my thumb. You don't have to use your thumb. You can use your middle finger here. But uh, this is up at the uh, ninth fret, right? And then these are open. And then on the on the third string, I've got the eighth fret, and on the second string, the ninth fret, and then the top string open. So you can see it's the same chord as uh, this same idea uh, I think it's like a D flat minor 7 or something it's kind of hard to tell in this tuning but um, if you want to play it this way um, it, it, the first part of the verse goes okay and then spineless swine is uh, uh, So you're just going from A to B up to the 10th fret to D. And then you go back to the riff. You just do it, that's it, just like that. Then after you've played that, you come up and start on the B and play A. So then you're going E and D flat minor 7. And then back to the B for he does the military two-step, right? And A flat, which is the fourth fret. So, uh, the whole verse, all the way through, goes like this. go into the arpeggio which probably the most difficult part of the song because uh, getting it at speed is, is tough okay so the arpeggio uh, which comes after you played this a flat down the nape of my neck um, you, you start with um, your first finger on the fifth uh, string a uh, second fret and you put your pinky on the um, second string at the fourth fret okay and the pattern that you're playing the first pattern is and that is um, first you're going to play the uh, the fifth string then the third then the second 
then the third, and then the first, second, third. Then you take your first finger off and play the open fifth string. And then you're going to play. So that's the um, first string at the second fret. Take it off. Um, and you still get your pinky here on the fourth on the uh, second string at the fourth fret, and you play that. And then you bring um, your middle finger down on the third string at um, the third fret and play that. So that's. So so far we've got. Then I usually play this with my thumb, but um, you can play it with your finger if you want. It's just that the thumb kind of helps me at least. Um, but you've got, you're just leaving that pinky. You've noticed so far that in, in the first two arpeggios, this pinky has not moved from the second uh, string at the fourth fret, and you keep it there. So, um, so I bring the thumb over and play the fourth fret of this low. Uh, you know, of the sixth string. Uh, and the pattern is the same as the first arpeggio, so it's... So that's just, again, to refresh you, uh, your memory, it's, it's the... Um, this time you're hitting the sixth string, because that's your bass note. And then... Uh, just a third string, second, third, then first, second, third. All right. Uh, and again, if you want to take your first finger or whatever and put it over there, if you don't like doing a thumb thing, that's okay. And then the next thing you do is you move up to the fifth fret. You're going to fret this. Uh, sixth string at the fifth fret, but it, but this time your pinky actually not only goes up one fret, it also goes over one string to the third string, and you're just going to play so just straight down from six five four three two. Okay, so 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 far we have. That's the arpeggio, and, and then you play this chord. Um, you know, I wish I could tell you what it was, but um, you can look at the diagram and you play, and it's obviously the spend chord. And it's so, um, ring finger, sixth fret, fourth, um, I'm sorry, sixth string, fourth fret, uh, pinky. Um, fifth string, fourth fret, and then everything else is boring, the second fret. And you just give it a strum, you know, it's... And then go up and get this B. Don't emphasize the bass notes. So it's... Alright. And then you're going to play the A. A to A flat, back to A. So that whole arpeggio bit uh, with those chords is. And then you go back and you're going to play the arpeggio again. this again but this time when you come down you play 
Here's his plan dinner plate. So you don't come back to the A right away. You're just uh, going to stay on this A flat. So it's, you know, like booze as big as dinner plates. And then you play just strum once. For I want to go home. I don't want to stay. And then you're back to. Uh, and that's really the song. Now, um, you know, there's not really too much else to get. Um, you know, there's there there are um, probably uh, you know you, you have to count the number of times that he's playing different chords, but we covered most of that. And I would say that probably the hardest thing is not it's not so much the arpeggio itself. <laughs> It's more getting to it. You know, you, you're playing this A flat, and then you got to cleanly get to it. So uh, that's probably the part that requires most work. But um, it's a great song, and, you know, uh, Johnny Moore, uh, just a, you know, master. So uh, <laughs> if it takes a while to learn this stuff, uh, don't feel bad, because, uh, you know, everything that he plays um, sounds great. And it sounds a lot easier than it is. So I uh, uh, hope this helps you out. Take care.